The Tales of series has been around for a very long time. Originally releasing in 1995 with Tales of Fantasia on the Super Famicom. It wasn't until the release of Tales of Destiny on the PS1, however, that the US would be able to experience the series for the first time. Throughout the years, the series would undergo various changes and improvements, but would largely stay true to its core. Each release would contain a vast number of characters as the main cast, and the style the art direction took would always resemble the anime of its time period. In-game character models were also limited to 2D sprites at least until the PS2 and GameCube era and the introduction of Tales of Symphonia. Tales of Symphonia was also a massive hit and made the Tales franchise more popular than ever before, specifically in the US. But even with the success of Tales of Symphonia, Tales of the Abyss, which is my favorite, and Tales of Vesperia, it wasn't enough to keep people interested as with each subsequent release the franchise was feeling stale with the same formula over and over. So now we have Tales of Arise, a game that was supposed to release in 2020 but was pushed back due to quality concerns as well as the drive to have the game release on the PS5 and Xbox Series X and S. Tales of Arise seems to be the most ambitious project yet in the series, so much so that it has fans a bit worried. And so that's what this video is here for. Should you buy Tales of Arise? When taking things into consideration, there are three groups of people that are looking at this game. Hardcore Tale fans who will buy any entry in the series. Fans who may have been burned out by recent titles and want a fresh take but are unsure if they should buy it. And finally, those newcomers who have never played a Tales game and have only played the more recent Final Fantasy games such as 15 and 7 Remake. First things first, this video is not directed at those who fall into the hardcore fan section. You're clearly going to buy the game regardless. But stick around if you still want my opinion. Tales of Arise is vastly different in a lot of ways when compared to every other entry in the series. When developing the game, the development team said they wanted the game to be more appealing to the Western audience. This is clearly seen in the art style of the game. Instead of going with the traditional cartoony anime style, they adopted a look that resembles more serious manga or American comic book adaptations. Personally, I don't mind the new look, but I do prefer the charm the characters had with the previous style. The new style makes them look a little generic. Combat, I feel, is going to be hit or miss with some people. Especially coming from games like Final Fantasy XV and VII Remake. That's why a good portion of this review is going to be on the combat itself. The combat in Final Fantasy XV and VII Remake seems simple compared to Arise. But, if you do take the time to learn the combat, it can become very fun and rewarding. The problem with the combat is that it feels like they were trying to accomplish too much. Using Tales of Graces as an inspiration for the combat, which Tales of Graces is my favorite combat system in any of the Tales games, they tried to go with a more fluid system that relies more on dodging and countering specific weaknesses. Which, as mentioned, can be rewarding if you get used to it. And out of everything that they put into this game, between the modernized graphics, the music design, level design, etc. The combat is really the selling point of this game. I know I said it's hit or miss, and I'm glad that you're still sticking around. But while a part of me is sad to see the conventional combat system leave, I'm also glad. You see, the Tales of series in the past few games have been trying to reinvent itself. Tales of Graces was the biggest step forward, but then they brought it back to the previous combat system with subsequent games. So while the stories might be different, the combat made it feel like you were still playing the previous games. And yes, the previous games had gimmicks, such as the fusion system in Zestiria, but those gimmicks didn't really change the fact that it was still the same combat. Arise, however, is the evolution that was needed for the series. 
When you learn the combat mechanics, it becomes second nature to attack with your arts and then combo in your allies using the new boost strike system. The boost strike system allows you to use powerful combo attacks with your party members. The party system is different in combat as well. Instead of only being able to use four characters in combat at a time, you have your four party members on the field and you can swap out with the other members in middle of combat. Not only that, but the standby members can also participate in the aforementioned boost strike system. Healing is something I'm not a fan of, however. Healing in this title is used by consuming CP from a pool that is shared among the party. So instead of each member having a mana bar or TP bar, they consume the CP if healing is used. And believe me, you run out of CP really fast. And see, the thing is, I struggled with myself on the whole combat system because it kind of reminded me of Star Ocean Integrity and Faithlessness, which wasn't a comforting thing at first. That Star Ocean game in particular was not very good, but that's okay because Arise does not make the same mistakes that that game did. For starters, Arise, despite its drastic visual change, does keep a lot of the charm from previous Tales games. For example, skits make the return. Skits are interactions that happen between characters that offer more insight and personality for the main cast. These skits can come at times that let you know how the characters feel after certain situations and a lot of times it can give you some funny interactions. The menu system should be very similar to longtime fans as you have your item list and can change the equipment through the same menu. The maps are done like previous Tale games from Tales of Graces and forward, and what that means is instead of an overworld map, the game is sectioned off into different areas that you can explore, similar to games like Xenoblade. In keeping that part of it, Tales of Arise does lose some of its charm in the character designs and the lack of interaction after combat, but the improvements it does make are leaps beyond previous entries. So, is Tales of Arise a game I would recommend? Well, if you're a fan of action RPGs, then absolutely. But if you prefer old school turn-based RPGs, then maybe not so much. But I will put it to you this way. I did order the collector's edition. Thank you for listening though. And, you know, listening to me ramble about a game that is actually a lot of fun to play. Especially the combat once you get used to it. And if you found this video helpful at all, consider hitting the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time. Happy gaming. Oh, you Do believe it. all yours, Kisara. Ah!